Eta Bawa, a female superstar in Sierra Leone, actress, radio and TV presenter, a young single lady with two adopted kids, a young female youth activist, a brand ambassador to multinational companies, a dedicated Christian who ensures she and her family worship God every Sunday. Eta Bawa is a prayer warrior. Who can get anything from God with prayers at all times? Etabawa has multiple fans home and abroad who loves movies and a love solution program on TV and radio. Etabawa loves cruising a sports car with a family anytime she's not on set. Etebawa is a very busy young lady who has multiple ongoing local and international projects at hand. Etebawa is always booked down ahead of shoot, two months, three months ahead. Etebawa is an international icon who everybody wants to work with. Etebawa is a loving and caring young lady who is always ready to work with anybody. Good morning, Africa. My name is Henry Etebawa. I'm an actress, a TV presenter, and a radio presenter. But with all that, I put God first. And that is why I wake up every Sunday morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, because I've got two beautiful adopted kids. I go to church with them every Sunday morning. I'm just coming from church. The first service starts by 7 and off by uh, 9. Welcome to my crib. A loving and sweet etaba with fluent English and Spanish language and a free flow of Creole from Freetown, okay. Sierra Leone. Welcome. This is my living, not the, the kids room. I call it the family parlor because when I want to have, have a bond with my kids, this is why I come with them. This is where they place their playthings, their books, their bags. Teacup, everything killed, you find it here. These are the books that I read. Uh, one of my favorite language in this whole wide world is Spanish. So I do take a Spanish lesson. I do know how to say. Un blaster espanol. Bueno, lo hablo un poquito, un poquito. TV and radio presenter, a brand ambassador for multinational companies. I cannot leave my bread in <laughs> for this place. Okay, this is my cozy dining room. I sit here normally because with her I get the fresh air from there and it's very easy for me to just dip my hand in the fridge and get anything that I want to get there. And so I normally sit here and I have my favorite out of the two kids. There's this one that is like a favorite, but I love them with equally. And that's the younger one. She always sits here, very close to She wants to dig hand in my food and see what I'm going to do to you. Not. And of course, this is where I keep all my glasses, my wine, my spoon in the dining. An icon of celebration. A young single lady with two adopted kids. Go. Okay, follow me. Let's go upstairs. By the way, did I tell you I do interior decorating? Yes, I do. You see these things? Uh, normally, I love colors. You understand? I love my house to be painted white. But with the decor, I did colors. And I did this myself. It could be easy. Like, to come here, meditate, and all that. It's very cozy, very alone to myself. A young, beautiful lady. Who hailed from Sierra Leone, popularly known as Eta Bauer, a model, an international actress. Okay, like you see the jibs, 
of the paint, you understand? I see this like an African paint. Uh, a life at itself, you have to be humble. This is how I interpreted this paint. Uh, humility counts a lot because when you go up, if you don't take time, when you come back down, you understand this is how you fall. Growing up is not a crime for you to be that developed and have everything in life. But once you're going up there, you should have in mind that there are people down there that are there, they are not there because they are destined to be there. They are there waiting for their own time to go. This is the bar where when I have a friend no matter this is why I come with them. We sit and we drink. Yeah, we sit and we we drink. This is, the, okay, this is the recognition award I got for the most outstanding actor uh, in Serenia. I got it from an organization, a Serenia organization based in uh, the state. So they did their award and I was presented this because like they said, uh, they just started their award and the uh, category of best actor up to now they are still trying because at the end of the day they are like we can't just nominate an actor at the end of the day we will not get a visa for that actor to go and collect it so what they do every year they go in and look for um, an outstanding actor and they present an award so i was presented this and so this is the cozy cozy place in the house let's go we're still not upstairs follow me let's go upstairs And this is my living room. Hello! And these are my kids. I'm introducing to them playing for my favorite Naughty Naughty <laughs> Naughty Girl. Okay, this is Fable. Fable, say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. Hello. Uh -huh. Tell them your name. And this is my other baby. Actually, I named this one after me. Uh, French doesn't look like me when she grows up. <laughs> this is Henrietta Bawa. Say hello to the camera. Hello. Oh. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Henrietta Kadijanita Bawa. What class are you? Class 3. What's your best subject? Mm, math. Math. 2 plus 2. <laughs> 4. <laughs> Yeah. Were you boy. ever slim? I was that slim. And that's why for her first day at school. Oh, and that's this is my collection. And I say, this are uh, your colorful cotton. Yeah. This are uh, all because I have the guest room is out there, up there. And this is my family side. Family side, I mean, this. On my left here is my living room, and this one here is my dressing room. Let me say costume. Please don't mind me. It's one of my favorite dress. You know this. This is one of my favorite dress. Love this dress. It's expensive. What's your favorite color? Black. Yeah. This is my African dress thing. I use it to go for a church, naming ceremony, uh, events, VIP event. And I'm an African person, like I told you. I would do African print every other day. Like, let me show you my favorite bag. This is my favorite Gucci bag. I thought you were going to pick that yellow as a favorite. Uh, this one is my favorite bag. Because it's black. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a shoe person. Any day. I love shoes. I spend a huge fortune on shoes. These are my shoe collection. Black is my favorite dress, but this one is my favorite shoe. <laughs> yeah, this classic. It's kind of pretty if I want to go out. So I use sneakers a lot. <laughs> Once every week, you see me, you find me wearing this. The tomboyish and all that. I do this one, I want to be a tomboy. Tomboy, church guy kind of thing. I rock yeah. this one.
is my living room. This palace. <laughs> this is my magic room, you know. And this palace, room. all for you alone. All for me alone. After a long day at work, I come here and have a splendid rest. And if you lie down on this bed, <laughs> you don't look like who's resting because I can see your laptop beside you again. <laughs> what is happening with the laptop? That's to tell you how busy I am. I sleep with this laptop because I read my scripts, uh, I do my works. I sleep and wake with this laptop. First thing I wake up in the morning, I'm putting my laptop on. I go to sleep and putting it off. I sleep and wake with this laptop. Some people sleep and wake with phones. So I do. Some people have addiction and different to you, yeah, you're addicted to. to Laptop. <laughs> that's good, that's good. My house I be seeing the seaside. So sometimes if I want to really relax and I don't feel like going out, I just come to my balcony, sit and watch the streets, watch what's happening down there. And, but by the way, this is where like all the ships that come into this country, this is where they pass through. So like every evening, sometimes in the time if I, if I don't have anything to do, I come here and watch these ships go, you understand? And I come here to watch the sunset. From this distance, I can see the sunset and all that. Very lovely day. I have a wonderful day. And then, hard work. Ah? You say what it is? You are going to? Now they say, I say go pick up your counter. Huh? Okay. You want to pick up your car? That company is having me to call. They are having me to call that company. Where the cow the lime juice? Okay. I know people and I brought you your cookout to me on a Sunday. I should be resting, packing my house, taking my children, taking my children to the beach. Now your uncle don't reverse everything for me. All my Sunday this thing, by now, I should have been packing my room, packing my this thing. Dressing room, getting the kids ready for school tomorrow, taking them to the beach and coming back, attending my own event in the evening. Yeah, yeah. I'm keeping it here. Uh, good day, viewers. I'm Henrietta Bawa, but people call me Eta. I'm a Surinamian by nationality. I'm an actress, TV and radio presenter. I'm a youth activist and I'm a businesswoman, to be precise. <laughs> That's me. I do business, so I have a clothing line that I do, yeah. And I do, I mean, to. Uh, makeup as well, but that is low key, and I plan events for corporate houses as well. I have a talk show, it's on love. Uh, it's uh, a show that people call in and ask for advice in different things that are facing in their uh, marriages, in their relationships, and I do give out advice. I co host the show with a friend of mine, and we interview stars. Celebrities all over the world, both local and international. We interview them on the show, and I do the gossip segment. That's when I get to talk about all the celebs, what they do, and what they they are not okay things that they are doing. Anyways, that's what I do on telly. I was not an actress. Like I didn't realize I had this talent to me. And a friend of mine was the actor. I was just a tomboy in school. I was into debate competition, quiz, uh, quiz competition, and the like. Uh, a friend of mine was the actor. <laughs> you understand? Now she's not. Anyways, uh, every day she goes for after schools. The uh, school we have this audition or probably rehearsals that she goes for every day after school. 
So one day there was this competition we had in uh, in schools, in our secondary schools, uh, drama competition. And so my friend was playing the lead, but she was acting up and all that. And uh, she was not getting her lines properly, the act, she wasn't getting it properly. But being that I've been going with her every other time, sometimes I will be outside watching them we are seeing and by the day by the end of the day i'll get every lines of my friend i'll read and i'll act everything that like the script to my friend i'll help her read her script and develop the lines and all that so there was this particular day my friend was on stage acting and i was outside with some people and i was just acting what my friend was acting on stage and luckily for me and unfortunately for my friend the drama teacher was coming from my back. She stood there and she watched me perform exactly the whole script, how I deliver the lines and how I, all the, my performances and all that. And she looked at me and said, are you an actor? I'm like, no, I'm not an actor. I'm just here to drop my friend. She was like, no, do you want to give it a try? I'm like, no. She said, no, you co come up and give it a try. So I went there and I gave it a try and everybody just fell in love with me at that particular moment. So at the end of the day, the role was taken from my friend and they gave me the role. It wasn't that okay because I lose my friend and I lose something and I gain something. That was where my acting career started, but it was on stage. Uh, professionally, it started years ago. I met a friend of mine, he's a brother and a friend. Uh, Augusto Samuel Joe Thomas. Uh, he's one of the most intelligent person I've ever worked with. It started like he had this vision, like to make stars. He had this vision. He could think beyond the box. You understand? So I started working with him. We started doing movies in Sierra Leone when people were not doing movies, when people didn't believe in movies with my friend and the director is a director but i told people he's not a director to me he's a brother to me so we started it uh i was going to this rehearsal and unfortunately for me again <laughs> my first movie would have been uh that movie when uh i started working with that my friend a brother Mojo thomas we went for this rehearsal we rehearsed for a month to do a movie uh, it's the proposal that's my first movie and there was this time that we were supposed to film the movie all of a sudden three days to the film in the movie he looked at me and said no you're not fit for this role not that you're not fit for this role but we need a star an already established figure you understand to play this lead character that you're playing we don't just need an ordinary person we need somebody that they know already and so, how did you feel when he said that challenging then back it was very bad i felt i felt like my whole world was coming to an end i felt down i you felt frustrated i was intimidated um, you feel like uh you're giving up not doing it again yeah you i felt like, like giving up but that was the part of my career i told people everywhere and every day that was that should have been an opportunity given to me to start off my career but because they told me that i was not a star that that role was meant for a star and they actually went and got a star an already established female musician then uh, they got her to play the role so from that day I took it, I cried like two days I cried <laughs> and I managed to my brother because of that role but that day because of what they told me that I was not a star that was the battle of my career that was why my acting career started from that day that was why i said okay if they can tell me that i'm not a star then it means i need to prove them right or wrong if this is my calling i need to ask god if this is actually what he has desire for me if this is a career that i can pursue and make a living on then this world i hold it as a challenge and it's and since that day that was where my acting career started and from that day i've been okay and thank god for the journey so far up to this point. How many years have you been doing it? Professionally, I could say I've been doing this for the, for ten years now. Say, yeah, it's over. It's up to ten years that I've been doing this professionally. Uh, within the ten years, how many good jobs uh, can you tell us about? 
I'm proud of this job. I'm proud of this job. Definitely not every job yeah. you have passed. Yeah. Me, you're proud of. At least, how many can you give us? Like three or four or five? Just give us a number. Um. Uh, like, uh, I've done quite, quite a lot of jobs that I'm very, very proud of. Like, because every job that I've done so far are very, very challenging. And I've done a lot that I'm proud of. To mention but few. And to mention but few, let's say deep in the game. Deep in the game, it's a movie where I portray the character of the drug lord. I don't drink normally in my normal life. I don't drink. I don't. I, I mean, I don't smoke normally. But in this movie, I was portrayed uh, as a drug lord, meaning like I, I had this thing in me, like to drink and smoke on set while swimming and all that. Cigar, that was the first day I, I smoked cigar. And the fact that this thing came afterwards, it was my breakthrough movie. That was a movie that shoot me out deep in the game, one, two, and three. It was a sold out movie. It gives me the recognition from the home and outside the abroad. And it makes me, uh, uh, I mean, people got to realize that there is an actor there in Sierra Leone. So that movie uh, showed me outside. And there is this other movie that is uh, dear to me as well. It's called Refugee. Refugee because it's a true life story. It talks about the war in Sierra Leone and the fact that I acted as a madman, a mad woman. I portrayed that character very well and people liked it at the end of the day people were moved people were touched so i could say it was very challenging for me to portray a mad woman robe at the end of the day because it has to do with telling the cerulean story telling uh the way people felt during the war so i was able to project it and it was very challenging and when it came out people loved it people talked about it i got calls everywhere uh, people commended me for my job in that movie and there is this one I did recently that's a stitching time A stitching time is a movie that uh, has a true life story on the Ebola how some reunions got affected during the Ebola and all that and I uh, played a character where I was affected with the Ebola virus my mom died of it my, my friends got affected of the virus and that was very very challenging for me it, wa it was very challenging because I, I okay when I realized how much people died through this deadly virus, Ebola, and when I was given the opportunity to play a, a, a movie like I was affected with the virus, I know I gave it my 110%. And that feeling, that feeling, even though I was acting it, but that feeling that I was affected with Ebola, it was so touching that I gave my all and at the end of the day it came out well and these are my if you say if I were to choose my uh, my few like my best the ones that are very challenging these are the projects so far the deep in the game refugee and the stitching time these are the projects of course deep in the game sold me out it was the, the, the movie that made people realize I have a talent and refugee was that one that I have to tell a Cerulean story so it was easy for me to relate with it though I was small during the, the war in Sierra Leone, but I was able to relate to it and as for a stitch in time a stitch in time is a movie that American Embassy founded and it was done by um, my dad in the industry Mr. Jimmy B and the fact that I had to portray uh, an Ebola survival it was very challenging, very touching, and I hold this project very dear to me. So, if we may ask you, who, who groomed you professionally into the movie 
end? Uh, I hate to give this guy the credit. Like seriously, I hate to turn it off. Okay, I'm just kidding. Professionally, something that had happened to you that that is that painful that you can relate with, and you find yourself crying. And since that day up to now, crying has not been that thing. I, I, I cry every now and again. If I have a role to cry, I cry and it's all to that guy. And I want to appreciate him for giving me the opportunity and for believing in me when I didn't realize I have talent. Thank you, brother. We believe, we believe you also have uh, the people you are grooming because every star has someone who is also bringing up. Like, mm -hmm. how many people do you think uh, under your umbrella, under your coverage, you've been able to you can be proud of that. You have been able to impact their life one way or the other. A lot of them, like for my friends, all of my friends are acting now. They are into the acting field now. And most of these friends, they were going with me to Riasa's ground. All this while when I started acting, when the, the ones that were not acting before. And there is this particular one. Uh, there's a girl that I did deep in the game with. She's called uh, Salima Tukabu. I remember uh, the first day that, uh, that the director came with her to my house, he looked at me and said, Etta, this is your sister. I want you to hold her as your sister. Because this movie, I want to do this movie and project her in this movie. So I want you to have her as a sister. Well, so I have this at the back of my mind. So anytime we go on set, I'll tell her if she wants to do something, I'll say, hold on, let me make you. Because I know after this movie, you're going to be very big. So you just sit down and let me make you. But uh, Saleh Matu, I would say I had an impact in her. I have uh, uh, all the people, a lot of people. I have uh, uh, young girls that I'm working with right now that I am an impact to them. I help them, I'm grooming them. And of course, my kids, I'm grooming them as well. Uh, these are people that look up to me and they're actors as well. In what's Africa. Sorry, what's the challenge in the, in the industry? Some of the challenges you face? Everything is a challenge in this industry. Everything. Uh, from government not giving us what is due, like government not recognizing that the movie industry itself is a lucrative business that can uh, generate income for the government. And the government endorsing us and making private sectors to endorse and fund our projects. It's challenging. You have to go on. For us, we do costume ourselves. Every movie that I've done so far, I do my costume, I do makeup. I'll be on set, reading, get, trying to get my lines, trying to get my act. And I'll be on set concentrating on how I'm going to look in every other scene. My costumes, my makeup, everything is a challenge. And the, the huge challenge is that there are sometimes uh, you see people that have talent, you understand? People that are supposed to play leads in movies. But there are sometimes people don't give them lead roles. They give them supporting roles because of one reason and the other, you understand? That's very challenging. And um, you go on set with these people, people that you know that, okay, these people are not, it's not as if that they are not good, but they are not better off for this role. You understand? When you're rolling with them, it's so challenging that you have to, sometimes you have to like, every now and again, you're like, before you can actually, okay, God, God, let me just do this thing, you understand? Everything from the act itself, like private sectors, no, 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 um, uh, giving us what is due, like their social corporate responsibility, that is to say, like to help the, the, the movie industry, they are not doing that, they are not doing sponsorships and all that. So it's very challenging to produce a movie here in Sierra Leone. Everything from the writing of the scripts to the locations, to everything, to one camera, you go on set, you have only one camera to film. So you have to like one bring there, like one scene, you will do like four or five takes for just one scene. Everything is just challenging. Okay, what's, what are some of the success you can count since you been in the industry? I've been doing this thing for the past 10 years. That alone, the time spent is a success. Because if I don't enjoy doing it, I would have not have been doing it up to this time. And so far, I've got recognition so far, you know. I'm on, 
I'm a brand ambassador of well, Airtel. I'm on billboards. I'm able to project from different from the acting field. I'm now a TV host. I'm a professional MC. I have my clothing line. It's all generated from the acting field. So um, all this year, this acting has helped me to create. It has given me some business ideas. It has helped me to uh, develop some business uh, skills. That is to say, I have my clothing line now. I'm on billboard. I get to travel from my country to go all the country to do movies. I get to meet people uh, in the same industry, both local and international. I get to work with brilliant actors and actresses. And the fact that I'm still doing it for the past 10 years, that's a huge thing. And to what I intend doing. Um, recently, there are some people that came from Germany. They came to do a two weeks workshop. And I was fortunate to be part of the delegation that they choose to be part of the workshop. We did a two weeks uh, media and film production uh, TV. Uh, screenwriting, editing, filming, acting workshop. And after the workshop, they, they gave us the privilege to write our short stories on Ebola, how Ebola affected. And I did a story on stigmatization. And because of that, they asked me to write it and film it. They founded it, I wrote the script and I directed it. And after that, I sent the, the they took the movie back and when they saw it, Everybody liked it. The community, they liked it in Germany because they have the same festival where they want Sierra Leone to be inclusive. They are, every year they will be sending people from Sierra Leone to witness the festival, the uh, film festival. So I see myself in the near future producing movies. I see myself going into full-time production like to write my stories and direct it. I see myself doing that and uh, I see myself doing costume as well and that's the business aspect of it and I see myself married and having my family I'm this family oriented person and I see myself getting my kids and marrying my, my dream horse you talk man about you talk about marriage, can you tell us about your sex life? Um, are you married and you, you have a boyfriend? Are you single? Are you looking? Or just tell us something about you I'm not married, but I'm not searching. That's all I can say. I'm not married, but I'm not searching. I, I've got two beautiful, adorable, uh, adopted kids that I'm happy with at the time. And I'm not married, but that's just it. Sorry, you're not married and you have kids adopted. How do you expect your husband to cope, your husband to be? What if he doesn't like that idea and you already have them? then that means it's not my husband because a husband will come in a full package that is to say he will accept you for who you are and for what you're doing i tell myself every day if i am to marry it i marry the man that will accept me as an actress first of all me as a goodwill ambassador me as this person that has two kids already so any man that will come to my life to marry should accept these packages. This is me. I made of these packages and all that. And because I love kids a lot. I love kids. I see myself having a foundation in the near future. I have uh, a street kids foundation where I will go out there, I get their kids from the streets and just, and just take care of them. That is what I see myself doing. So anybody that should come and be my husband should be ready. To what about the, your ugly them. Can, do you have any ugly parts in the team? You know, that you can say also. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Everybody does. Uh, my ugly part. People say I'm very hot tempered. Like if things are not going the way they should go. And I'm very blunt. And you know, as being, me being an African and as an African woman, sometimes people do expect you to say things. You don't call a spade by a spade. You don't just tell people the truth to their faces and all that. And I have that. I don't keep things in. I, I am very blunt with my opinions, with my emotions. I tell people how I feel. If things are not going the right way, like they should be going, I tell people. And so that could be my, my ugly, ugly heart. 
and I'm very, very hot tempered as well. Very, very hot tempered. When things, I'm, I, I'm just not that kind of person that will just frown at every little thing. So I frown at things that people know that they should not do. I get frowned at things like that very easily. That's well, my ugly smart. A lot Maybe. of actors have been complaining of directors and uh, all the people behind the scene that make things happen. What are your experiences with them as a female? I guess everybody do experience that. But for me, the good thing is that uh, I know where I'm, what I'm doing and I'm blessed the the man of the my god favors me so uh i don't have this thing like a director who say i need to sleep with Eta before i give her a role i don't really i'm not i i, I can't lie i have never been this case where in a director who say Eta, you need to sleep with me because the, Probably because people don't see me as that. I'm very blunt. I am because I tell people my mind, I tell them how I feel. So people don't just bring things like that to me easily. They don't just. Please tell us your best African actor and actress. Well, okay, am I, am I doing this? <laughs> am I the best? I wish I had the opportunity to say best five. <sighs> okay, four. My best African actors, are, uh, uh, actor, actors, okay, actors, uh, actor, hey, Majid, Majid Michel. Then your best African actress. Uh, uh, can I have two? <laughs> okay, is it me? No. <laughs> okay, Johnny Viv, Johnny Viv in Naji. Is my best African actress. I admire her so so much. I admire the grace uh, in which she carries herself. I admire her acting skills. I admire the fact that she can interpret every role every other day. 